ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the little three ring circus that I like to refer to as distracted by diamonds. I am your extremely annoyed master of ceremonies, Robin with a Y. And as you can hear in the background, every single neighbor in my neighborhood is mowing their lawn simultaneously. So please pardon the distraction. Some of you may be asking yourselves at this moment, why does Robin have a suitcase? Does she want to run away from her neighbors that won't stop mowing their yard? Does she want to go to Ireland to visit Rachel Ray? Yes, please. Perhaps she's going to go off to Montana to see Jessica at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. Now I'm still stuck here in Ohio and this is not a suitcase. What it is, is a die cutting machine. And on today's video, we are going to be slicing up a canvas. If you'd like to see the canvas that I'm going to cut and why I have come to the conclusion that it's cuttable, please run over to my channel and check out this video. Let me just tell you that this thing and I have been through a lot together. I begged my husband to buy this for me the day it came out. I couldn't believe that someone in the crafting universe actually had the forethought to make a machine that would cut through what I needed it to cut through. Oh, finally, this thing will cut through fabric, felt, any kind of cardstock. I think I've cut plastic in it before. No, wait, I have. And I have no doubt in my mind that we are going to be able to cut through a diamond painting canvas, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, if you hang out until the very end of the video, I will show you why this idea ever entered my noggin to begin with. So, watch me cut up this canvas, grab a drink, and let's have fun. I kind of cheated a little on you. I did slice off a section just to make sure that I could do it, but I want to do it on camera because in case you ever do want to do an experiment like this or an experiment of your own and you need a way to slice a canvas and make a nice straight cut this will be a tip for you this is a cheap rotary cutter too by the way this is not like an olfa or any 60 dollars implement this is a fiskars i think with a coupon it was five bucks so i can vouch for this rotary cutter i will link to it below let me just demonstrate to you what i did successfully the first time and hope that i can repeat it Oh, had a little slippage there, but there you go. Now the reason I have to cut this is the window in the Vagabond, my cutting window is only six inches wide. And this will make more sense to you in just a minute. All right, so what I've done is I've taken the long strip of canvas that I cut before and I cut it in half so that I could work with it a little bit better. And I covered it with parchment paper so that I could see the section of the design that I wanted to cut out. I'm going to position my Vagabond here and get everything set up and move forward. <laughs> My God, aren't you happy? I could do an entire video just about sandwiches and what you need and which dyes go with which sandwich of material you need to be able to cut it properly. I'm not gonna do any of that. Just take my word for it when I tell you that you can adjust this to cut any material you pretty much wanna cut. And I haven't played around with it so I'm just gonna use the standard sandwich recipe that I usually always use to cut paper with. Now, I obviously only have one shot at this and I want her face. So I, I have my heart set on this one tiny little spot of this canvas. Cross your fingers, we will hope for the best.
Let's see what we have. Oh no. Mm, darn it. This is the side of Pinterest that they never show you. The experiments that go hopelessly wrong. Okay, well, there you have it. All I need to do to rectify this situation is literally stick maybe a couple pieces of copy paper folded up underneath here to get that to cut through without having to trim it like I just did. But that's part of the fun of the experiment, right? Figuring it out. As you can see, it did work. And that is cool. Hang on for a minute and I'm going to show you why I decided to do this in the first place. All right, I wasn't kidding you guys when I told you I was going to cut this canvas. And as you can see, I made Swiss cheese. This is why I'm a paper crafter because I love the way paper feels in my hands. And now I'm loving the way that this diamond painting canvas feels in my hands. Is that weird? Yes, it is, I know. I have decided that I am going to set up a diamond painting shop. I'm gonna go on Alibaba, I'm gonna order a few hundred dollars worth of diamond paintings, and I'm going to take them down to the local flea market where we spend a lot of our weekends. I know that diamond painting is not something that a lot of people around here are familiar with yet, and I think it would take off. So I wanted to make some things so that when people come to um, my booth or my stall or whatever, they can have a tangible thing that they can hold in their hands and see um, to experience what diamond painting is. And so I've come up with these. And of course I'll have some of my diamond paintings displayed for people to see but those are not going to be touchy things. <laughs> I'm not just gonna let people come up and randomly paw my completed diamond paintings. But I do want them to have something tactile that they can hold in their hand. So I figured I would make up, you know, five or 10 of these and just leave them maybe sitting in a bowl or a basket so people could actually pick it up and go, oh my God, what is that? That is so cool. And then we, it starts a conversation. I also have a bushel basket of these um, pins. And, and then I can wear it when I'm walking around the flea market too and people will be like, oh, what is that? And come up and, you know, it starts a dialogue. After I did it and I looked at the end result, which believe me, this was a hurried project. I actually even skipped a drill. I was in such a hurry to get this done for this video. It dawned on me, there are a lot of things that you could do, but for my purposes, that's why I did this. So again, if you wanna see how I did this, if you want me to make a more detailed video so you know what materials and glues and stuff that I used, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you make something like this and you use your die cutting machine to um, create something cool, please uh, let me know. I'm over on Instagram. Uh, you can get a hold of me there. I'm always really interested to see what people come up with. I love it, it makes my day. If you like today's video and this type of content is something that interests you, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Make sure to ring that bell to get notified every single time that I post. Don't forget you guys, we have hashtag drills and chills coming up. There are gonna be a lot of events in September and uh, October that you're not going to want to miss and I will see all of you uh, next time. Pippi, why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Why are you upside down all the time? Are you a sloth? No, I'm a doggy. Okay. Well, nighty night.